Good happy Thursday evening, June 24, 2021. I'm Riley King and welcome to this Thursday evening edition of Sports with Riley King. Let's get started right now. First up, the Boston Red Sox and Tampa Bay Rays. The Boston Red Sox game yesterday, the final score was Boston Red Sox 2 and Tampa Bay Rays 8. The Boston Red Sox lost the game yesterday and Tampa Bay Rays won yesterday. And Boston Red Sox at Tampa Bay Rays tonight at 7.10 p.m. And you can watch tonight's game on Nesson and MLB Extra. Hopefully the Boston Red Sox can win tonight's game. New Hampshire Fisher Cats. They had a game yesterday with Bay Sox. And the final score of that game, New Hampshire Fisher Cats 10 and Bay Sox 3. New Hampshire Fisher Cats won the game yesterday. Congratulations, New Hampshire Fisher Cats. And Fisher Cats at Bay Sox at 6.35 p.m. And hopefully the Fisher Cats can win tonight's game. Let's go, Fisher Cats. New state triple jump record set by Concord Christian Academy Jr. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Golden Corral in Manchester is open and now offers a weekend breakfast buffet. Come on in for a safe, comfortable, customer-friendly experience featuring a delicious, fresh, all-you-can-eat buffet of homemade favorites. Golden Corral at the shops at South Willow in Manchester. The only one for everyone. Earlier this month, a junior from Concord Christian Academy surprised everyone, including himself. Shane Wong won state titles in both the long jump and triple jump, setting a new state record in the triple jump. Yeah, I'm really surprised because I never jumped like that far before. The 18-year-old is part of a Concord Christian track team made up of just three athletes and no coach, just a parent who volunteered to take them to meets. So Shane's success was all on him. So I practice six days in a week and two hours every day. Shane started jumping in China and won several awards there before he left his family and came to the United States in 2019, hoping for better academic and athletic opportunities. He was taken in by a host family, the Marshalls of Epsom. They have four boys of their own and Shane fit right in. They're really nice. I'm really happy I have a really great host family here. They're just really nice to me. Away from the track, it's been a tough year for Shane. He's been worried about his family and friends who are still back home in Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the pandemic. He says they FaceTime a lot, and he'll finally be able to visit this Christmas, which will be more than two years since he left. Right now, he's focused on the Nike Nationals. He'll compete in Oregon at the end of the month. Shane plans to remain with the Marshals for his senior year, He's also an exceptional student and is already being contacted by some impressive colleges like Harvard University. Best of luck to Shane Wong. He's this week's hometown. Okay, and there you go. And that is it for this evening edition of Sports with Riley King. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening and see you back here tomorrow for another edition of Sports with Riley King. Good night and goodbye.